Hi everyone, my name is Laura Mould, and for my story time presentation today, I'm going to be reading Bats at the Library, uh, written and illustrated by Brian Lies. And I have my little bat friend here to help me tell the story. Alright, Bats at the Library. Another inky evenings here. The air is cool and calm and clear. We feasted, fluttered, swooped and soared, and yet we're still a little bored. We can't figure out what to do for the rest of the night. All this sameness leaves us blue and makes us ache for something new. Then word spreads quickly from afar. A window has been left ajar. Oh no, somewhere a window's open. Where do you think it is? Where are they going to go? Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, bat night at the library. Look, all of our bats friends are flying off to the library. Where we are right now. The sky is lively as we race together toward our favorite place. Eager wings beat autumn air. Look, that's it. We're almost there. So excited. Then squeeze together wing to wing. We rocket through the opening. We've waited for this night all year, but this is it at last. Did they get in? We're here. Look, they're at the library, how cool. It's in the middle of the night and nobody's there. For most old bats, this isn't new. They've got lots of things to do. They'll flutter off and lose themselves among the books lined up on the shelves. Look, there's this older bat. He knows exactly where to go. Other bats in munchy moods will study guides to fancy foods or hang out by a lamp instead to talk about the books they've read. Look, there's some bats here reading about food. And look up here, they're hanging up upside down. Bats are so silly, huh? But little bats will have to learn the reason that we must return. The ones who haven't come before have no idea what's in store. Some of them will drift away and figure out a game to play, like shaping shadows on the wall or wingtip tag around the hall. Do you guys like to make shadows on the wall, some little shadow puppets? Look, that's what they're doing right here. They're making shadow puppets, and then the other ones are playing tags with their little wings. See? See the wings on here? They're like playing tag with them. How funny. They should be reading books, huh? This big box is loads of fun, blasting brighter than the sun. Instead of copying books from shelves, we can duplicate ourselves. Look, they're using a copy machine to copy themselves instead of books and papers. Look, they're coming out on paper. Doesn't matter where you look, there's nothing like a pop-up book. The fountain water is nice and cool and makes a splendid swimming pool. Do you think a water fountain makes a good swimming pool? I don't think so. Oh, and look, they're about to get in trouble. Please keep it down. You must behave. The library is not your cave. Keep it down. Huh? It's hard to settle down and read when life flits by at a dizzy speed. But story time is just the thing to rest a play exhausted wing. Just, just like we are. Look, they're all sitting and listening to the storyteller. They're all sitting nicely. Some of them are, are even hanging upside down. And if we listen, we will hear some distant voices drawing near. Louder, louder, louder still. They coax and pull us in until... What do you think is going to happen? Getting further and further in the story, what's going to happen to them? I think they're going to 
and become part of the story. Everyone, old bat or pup, has been completely swallowed up and lives inside a book instead of simply hearing something read. Look, they, they went into the story. They're starting to become, become part of the story. Look, there's a bat riding a horse instead of the character in the book. Oh, look, these are all different stories. And all the bats have taken place of the characters. Look, they're going to the Emerald City here in the Wizard of Oz. Here's the book Goodnight Sun. I'm sure a lot of you know that one. Look at all these bats as story characters. Who knew they were so fun, huh? Breathless, lost within the tale, no one sees the sky grow pale. Oh no, it's becoming daylight. That means they're gonna have to leave soon, huh? Look, they're still in the stories. There's a bat as Little Red Riding Hood. There's a bat as Winnie the Pooh. Who do you think my bat is, huh? I think my bat just wants to be a bat. These are some cool pictures, huh? What is that light? A lamp? The moon? What do you think the light is? I think it might be the sun coming up, huh? Our bookish feast can't end so soon. It feels as though we've just begun. But now we leave our books half done. They have to leave without finishing the books. Would you guys like that? Would you like it if I just stopped telling the story in the middle? I don't think so. I want to hear the end. Well, look, they have to. They have to leave. Through the window into sky. It's much too late. We've got to fly. Well, maybe a librarian will give us bats this chance again and leave a window open wide to let us share the world inside. Hopefully one day a librarian will leave the window open again. Maybe it'll be me. For now we'll dream of things we've read, a universe inside each head. Every evening, one and all, we'll listen for that late night call. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, that night at the library. They're all heading home. They're going to bed right when we're about to wake up in the morning. Because bats stay up all night. That's why they got into the library. All right. Uh, so in addition to using my little puppy here, I thought it would be kind of cool to have, like, dim the lights a little bit when reading since that they're in the library at night. Um, Obviously not too much so that you can't see the illustrations, but it might be a cool little effect. Uh, and then after reading the story, uh, I would do one of two different art activities. Um, one, one idea that I saw online was to, have, to hand out a little piece of paper with the, the center part of the bat already drawn on and then have the kids use their hands to, draw, to paint the wings, use hand paint and then put their hands on there and then have little pom-poms and googly eyes and markers and crayons and stuff to decorate the bats however they want. They don't have to be a black bat. Uh, just have it fun. Uh, and then the other little art activity was to do, instead of that, have little uh, clothespin bats. So they have like little foamies they can cut out their own wings and then decorate um, a little clothespin and then hang it hang it on a piece of paper or uh, have a magnet on it to put on the refrigerator, but anything little f fun like that that they can, you know, do whatever they really want with it, um, but just to create a little bat. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks.